Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about another variant uh, which is based on deployment models. It is called private clouds. In the subsequent files, we'll see more details on this. When a cloud infrastructure is set up and deployed for the individual use of a given organization, then it is termed as a private cloud. So all the information and computing assets that the cloud comprises of the organization for which it is the cloud is set up that organization has a full control and ownership on all these assets in fact the one of the earliest manifestation of cloud metaphor originated from the data centers where the virtualization technologies were used to consolidate different resources and this setup later became what we know today as private clouds in fact amazon is one early player where they were initially trying to set up the computing infrastructure by using virtualization and they had consolidated their data center resources and later thought that it is a good business value to offer those resources to general public which is what we saw in the earlier lecture where we talked about the public cloud it seems that precursor to that in most enterprises was the private cloud that is what we know today but then before the term came into widespread public use what was existing there is the data center that was using virtualization technologies to consolidate the resources and internal to the organization anybody who wanted to obtain the computing resources they were using the similar techniques to give the virtual machines to the individual divisions or individual users within the enterprise so if you look at from the enterprise or the organization standpoint the entire data center was operated for their own use they were not offering the services to the external world and they retained the full ownership of all the computing assets including the data application and hardware etc and that was the precursor to private cloud and private clouds allow custom configuration of cloud infrastructure what it means is that the cloud infrastructure such as the virtualization that you use the storage facilities that you may have all of these can have custom configurations which suit the owning organization's needs if you compare it with the public cloud you are not as a consumer able to request or make changes to the underlying infrastructure whatever they are offering you you have to make use of only those kind of resources for example if let's say if the public cloud vendor is using some type of a virtualization technology let's say vmware or xcn you cannot request them to change the virtualization to something else whereas in a private cloud you are free to make such changes if your your business scenario requires you to do so so in that sense you have lot of flexibility also because you own the entire infrastructure and the setup so you can customize it the way that suits you best but often the virtualization layer uses a homogeneous virtualization technology because that makes the management of the underlying infrastructure very easy these are the characteristics which a typical private cloud will have so just to reiterate a cloud infrastructure which is solely owned and operated for a single organization is called private cloud and it allows the full ownership control and custody of all the infrastructure including hardware middleware data and application etc for the owning organization and it also allows the organization to have any kind of custom configurations of any elements of the infrastructure and typically you will have a homogeneous virtualization environment to help them ease the management tasks now let's look at some of the toolkits and frameworks which one can use to set up a private cloud let's say in the first case if you're trying to set up an infrastructure as a service cloud there are several options which you can use to set up such a cloud so these are the open source software projects which which exist today that allow you to set up an infrastructure as a service cloud open nebula eucalyptus apache cloud stack open stack and nimbus etc so these are the early projects which can be used to set up a infrastructure as a service cloud we have seen in the infrastructure as a service clouds details that how you would set up what is the architecture of an infrastructure as a service cloud and there also we pointed out that these are the pieces of software which you can use to set up such a cloud and similarly for case of a platform as a service cloud there are some options app scale is one which gives you very similar functionality as google app engine does and from vmware you have cloud foundry micro edition which you can download and uh, install on your local machine itself 
and you will be able to provide web applications which can be deployed on such a platform. Similarly, for software as a service, we haven't listed it here, but as we have seen in software as a service case, it is essentially a, a, a software application which you are offering as a service. So in that sense, I think anybody can write some application regardless of where it is deployed, whether in-house or on some sort of a cloud platform and offer it as a service to general public. So there you don't have any, any uh, standard which you can say that uh, these are the applications that can be offered as a service. You can write any arbitrary application, any functionality and offer it as a service to general public. That's pretty much it in this short lecture. Thank you.